Hey everyone, it's Daphne. We're back together working on Blossom. And we are on to the next page. So we're gonna start with a six and a half by eight inch flap. Um, it is gonna get installed on the right hand side of your pocket page. Of course, we're always starting with a finished pocket page. It's gonna get installed like so. Just flush with the right hand edge. I hope everybody's doing good. We've had a uh, little bit of rain here in San Diego, which is nice. We definitely need it. I was actually kind of surprised they hadn't been complaining about water conservation. Uh, usually right after Christmas, we start hearing, oh, it's going to be a tough year. So it is good to have some rain. I think I'm... No, I'm not. Okay, so the next one that's going to get installed on the opposing side is um, a six and a half by seven. I'm just going to verify that. Six and a half by seven. Um, and you're going to score a half inch on the six and a half inch side, and it's going to get centered uh, on the opposing side. So let me get my center line uh, marked. And we'll get that on. <clears throat> Okay, and it's gonna go flush. Just line up your two dots. Oh, you know what? I think I might have. Oh, did I... No, we're okay, we're okay. Okay, so now we've got, we gotta think about this for a second. We've got two flaps and We've got a five and a half by six, and it's gonna get installed center on this side. Five and a half by six, so let me find my, my center. Which is three. Five and a half by six, you're gonna score half inch on the five and a half inch side, and you're just gonna line it up with that dot that you have from previously centering this. It's gonna go right in like so. There we go. And now, I'm gonna get my contrast in here. Now we're gonna add another flap, like so, and it's gonna close like this, okay? Let me dry fit that real quick, make sure it's not gonna hang over, it looks really good. So I'm not gonna put a dot here because I'm just gonna line it up off the um, flap that I've already put in because in the event this didn't go in straight, what you really want is for these two flaps to just marry and fit, you know, uh, nest right into each other. There we go. And that's gonna open left and right. And again, and then this is gonna close like so. So now it's time to get some magnets in. So we wanna hold this closed. So we're gonna put two magnets here, one here and one here. Okay, and then we're gonna place uh, magnets here and here. Pretty easy. Okay, there we go. So we've got um, a left and right flap here. A left flap and a right flap. And this is a lot of photo space. 
for larger photos even. Do a little bit of housekeeping. Okay, when we get back, we will be decorating this wonderful page. Okay, I'll be back soon, guys. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we are working on Blossom, and we are on page, let me double check. I believe we're on page six. Although, <laughs> I scribbled something in the corner and I can't even recognize my own writing. That's terrible, I know. Uh, let me double check. I'm, that's page seven. Uh, yes, page six. That's right, page six. Okay, so I've got some of my papers lined up and so we're gonna go ahead and get started um, with what I have and then I'm gonna take a break and organize the rest of the papers. So we're gonna work on the A side and I'm double checking. I think I've got this trimmed right, I do, but it's not in. Okay, so we'll do that real quick. And this is from the six by six. I had to think about that for a second. I've got my papers right here. I'm just verifying. Yeah, and I chose the 6x6 six because six I just thought the scale was a little bit better for the album. Um, the patterns in this collection are really large. So I'm finding that the pattern um, collection 8x8 eight eight pack is working a little bit better. So I'll wind up using my 12x12s 12 but using the not the primary side, the flip side um, in the album. So again, this is from the 8x8 collection. And it's pretty. I think it's a very pretty collection. I love florals. In general. asked me um, on YouTube recently and I I try to remember to to say this um, but I always trim out my designer paper to have a 16th of an inch border which means I trim it down 1 8 inch shorter and 1 8 inch narrower than the finished panel so if it's a flap that means you have to first subtract the hinge and then whatever that finished panel is you take off an eighth in height and eighth in width and you'll get your 16th inch border that's not what everybody likes but that's my go-to so um, this is from the 12 by 12 collection pack and I can tell by the scale of the flowers Everybody's doing well. We were so we're so excited to be working with um, Christina from the Quiet Cat Paper Company. I'm sure you guys are starting to see her stuff pop up um, here and there. She's really talented, um, and I, I think it's really nice just to see. Even if we both do something in the paper, the same paper like we did for Vagabond, just to see a different take on, on how to use the paper. So I'm excited that we're working with her. And, um, you know, we appreciate you guys going to take a look at some of her creations. I'm going to open this up so I can see the edges a little bit better. It looks like I haven't trimmed it down. So I'm going to take that eighth inch off, height and width, and it should be just right. Yep, that pretty much does the trick. Although, for some reason, yep, that's it. I was just not holding it straight. So I'm gonna put this back together real quick so you can see. I know when I open it all up like this, it's kind of confusing. So it is the A side of the top panel. Of the very top top. And I can't read my scribbly scrabble, but it is page six. 
I had to reconfirm that by putting my pages back in order real quick. There we go. Okay, now I've trimmed out these two strips here um, to for accent pieces. I'm not gonna put those down just yet because I, I may have enough of this pattern left that I can do a larger um, a larger piece and actually just do a single solid piece here. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna just leave these tucked inside here until I figure out the rest of the paper planning for this page. So for now, I'm gonna set this aside and when we get back together, we'll start working on the B-sides and I'll make a decision about that, whether we're using, I know I want the trim pieces at the very least, whether we're using the trim pieces or if we're gonna have a piece large enough so that I don't have to do color blocking there. If I, I just really wanna know if I have an option. Okay, so the last piece is I set aside this ephemera card and I'm gonna mat it in black and it's going to be installed here but I don't want to put it on until I've got page seven done because I, I want to consider the location of this based on the two page spread. So I'm just going to keep this reserved as well. So when we come back to do the B sides, I'll have that decision made as well. So I'll be back shortly. Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'm back with the B side on page six. B side for page six. So I've got my papers. I think pretty much planned out. We will see. Sometimes I forget something. Uh, this pattern is, is from the Patterns and Solids. It should go together pretty quick. So that was the larger. So there's two flaps, uh, left and a right, and this is the larger of the flaps. Um, so it's a, a six by six finished, and then this is the five by six finished. When I mean finished, uh, less the hinge. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> that didn't wanna let go. got this as the centerpiece. This is also from the Patterns and Solids. <clears throat> Sorry. I think my husband just got home and Nala gets excited. She's two, but I swear she's still a puppy. A big puppy, a heavy puppy. <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be our centerpiece here. I think the pink and greens look so lovely together. Yeah, that's my hubby. Back from running some errands, I think. Down. Okay, that's gonna close like so, like so. Oh my gosh, I panicked. I thought that was upside down. <laughs> it's all right side up. <laughs> it's 
Just a brief moment there. Okay, so I am uh, doing some color blocking here. And this is another case of, it's sort of necessary. I don't have enough large pieces that coordinate across, so I am going to do this color blocking. This is from the 8x8 collection pack, both of these pieces, which are um, trimmed off from some of the other pages that we've used, or pages where you see it uh, used. It looks like I need to trim this down just a little bit. Yeah. It's close, but not quite. That did not want to cut straight. Try that again. One more time. Let's see how we did. Yep, looks good. Okay, the rest I had already inked. So this piece, the green piece was left over from something and I just laid it down because I knew I wanted that um, green stripe to be pe peeking out when the flaps were closed. So I just trimmed this down to fit. And I'll tell you what size it is. But like I said, a lot of times I'm doing this based on one piece that was just a piece of scrap and then I fit something else next to it. Let's see, I'll tell you what it is though. This is three, it's almost three and five eighths. It's a little, sh no, actually it is three and five eighths is what this wound up being. But again, it's based on the piece that I had laid down first. Okay, this is going to be a solid piece. So that's easy and fast. Okay, and then we're gonna do a little color blocking here. We're gonna lay this down first and then this. Uh, make sure I've trimmed it. Yep, ready to go. And this is from a piece of the eight by eight. The pattern, um, the floral collection, the images are so large, even on the eight by eight, I opted to use, a lot of times I will use uh, the 12 by 12 on the larger flaps and then the eight by eights on the smaller flaps. But these images are so large anyway, I decided to do most of the feature um, patterns with the eight by eight, and then leverage the 12 by 12 collection pack for the flip side. Oops, I, I think I'm, uh, I just remembered it. I think I need to trim this one down a little, um, which is different for me. It's a little bit different. Um, but I felt like um, with the 12 by 12, I would be cutting too many of the flowers in half. Um, anyways, that's just something to think about when you're putting your album together. Okay, this should fit now. Hmm, a little more, I think. Yeah. mentioned earlier but um, this is a powder puff mahogany which I kind of have a I go to the dark whatever the dark color is every couple of years powder puff will discontinue a color and then replace it with something you know equally as dark but it'll be a little bit different um, but right now I'm using mahogany and we still have that in stock it used to be espresso was what I always used um, but then they discontinued that and replaced it with um, mahogany so and I really like it um, 
it works really well on graphic collections. Okay, there's our spread for the inside of page six. This closes, and then we have this. Okay, now for page three, I put a nice ephemera card on. I'm gonna pull that in and show you because I did that offline. Where, where is it? Here it is. So this is what I did for page three. Actually, it goes like this. Um, so I'm gonna do something similar on, on page six. Probably, I might even do a vertical. So let's dig through our um, ephemera cards and see what we have to work with. I don't care for that. Mm, this, I think, works better. That works because we've got that bearded iris back here. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with, the bearded iris. Let's see, yeah. So I'm just gonna mount that on some black cardstock and then it's gonna become a feature element on uh, this top flap. Now, Graphic 45 doesn't make these three by five, they're slightly off, so I always hand trim everything I do for um, ephemera cards. When I mean hand trim, I mean I mark it and trim it. I don't try to do it based on a measurement. I find I get a better result this way. But, you guys can be the judge of that in just a minute. <laughs> okay, so there it is. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I've already inked the edge, so we just need to glue it down and then figure out where we want to place it on this flap. put it up toward the top and the reason I'm doing that I'll tell you guys just a second if you decide you want to put a photo here you could and still reveal part of the flower so if I put it this way it wouldn't work very well so I'm going to place it in the upper right hand corner of that top flap and then you could still get a three by three here if you want And I'm just looking for an even border from the top and the sides. That looks pretty good. I like it. Okay, you could easily put, um, let's see, what is this? This is three, three by three and three quarters or a three by three photo uh, crop down. Or you could even, um, you know, use this as a little journaling spot. So that is it for page six. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. When we get back together, we will be working on page seven.